Passing energy with your host, Pri. <laughs> when this smoke starts, yeah, but that's it. But that's it. Prepare to be enlightened and entertained. But that's it. Hey guys, Priest here. <laughs> Sorry I took a little while to post this interview. And y'all know how it is. We all live in the real world where things... You get distracted fast, and I'm sorry. I've been been watching, binge watching Fate Stay Night after seeing Bunny outfit. I was like, man, I actually want to watch Fate Night. So I went on Netflix, and I was like, hmm, search it up. I said, okay, let me watch Fate Night Apocalypse. So I'm on episode three right now. I binge watched the other one, and then I'm right on Apocalypse right now. So yes, so y'all can blame Bunny for a reason why I have not, <laughs> I have not posted did the interviews that we did last week sunday <laughs> sorry behemoths we don't know time and i clearly i'm worse i don't know days so it's not wednesday but here is the interview we have with adam and ashley adam is the game organizer and ashley is the owner of geek out 242 now guys i try my best you know bootleg bootleg I did bootleg recording with my phone. I could try my best to get the audio as clear as possible. So we'll see how it goes. So yes, this is the Geeko 242. Okay, now that's like bootleg podcasting. So as you can see, I have a phone in my hand. <laughs> All right, so you can explain to me again what you're saying about this event. So the Geeko is a monthly event bringing weaves together all sorts from anime lovers to game lovers to cosplay lovers mostly. That's the three genres that we focus on. Mm. So we have our very own cosplay host, SJ Slays. And at the Geek Out, we have Ashley. And for the gaming, we have myself from Celestial Gaming. Okay. So before the pandemic, we would have done, this would have been a monthly occurrence that you would have seen through NASA. And this is now actually our first return back after all of the COVID. So from what you can see, it's just about the same things that we previously had, mm -hmm. but just on a little smaller scale just to accommodate everybody because it's been a long time waiting for a lot of people. So right now we're about to begin our Iron Man challenge, which we usually, which we usually do for the gaming aspect. Mm -hmm. We would put a little bit of the competitive aspect in there for people who like the challenge, but mm -hmm. mostly it'll be a bunch of community games set up for people to play amongst their friends who they haven't seen in a while or okay. to challenge newcomers. Mm -hmm. um, basically, so today we're going to be doing an Iron Man challenge on Mortal Kombat. We're going to have one of our competitive players from the competitive scene of, mm -hmm. uh, locally. And people are going to try to beat him and test their skills against him. Okay. So he's one of our top Mortal Kombat players here. And uh, now people get a chance to test him today. And their skills are at the same time. Okay. So, get a bit. Uh, uh, basically, this is, we don't usually let people play for community. Mm -hmm. uh, but Venice Autonomous is always just $1. Okay. So it's nothing really to lose, but just something, you know, to help towards and support. Okay. Yeah. So everybody just have to play $1 and they can play all the... Okay, okay. And speaking about Ashley, this is Ashley right here. Okay, okay. Hi. Right. He does a little small podcast and he wanted to get a little info on it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right, right. So, sorry, I didn't even get your name. Adam. 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 Yes. And you said your role on your side. Uh, I operate the gaming aspect of it. The gaming aspect? Yes. Okay, okay. So would you consider, say, a good crowd out for you or for you? Uh, for gaming? Well, as you can see, gaming always takes parts and two parts. You always have spectators and you always have gamers. Some mm. people just like to watch while others like to play. Right. Uh, this is a nice crowd, mm. but from what, I've, what we're used to, it's definitely a downsize based on how we have to operate now. So this is, this is really good. But then as you can see, mm. it's, it's just not one game. It's different games. So we have... Uh, Mario Kart in the corner, we have Smash, we have Dragon Ball Z, Mortal Kombat, Brawl mm. Hollow. So something for everybody to play. Right, the games right. rotate every now and again based on who wants to play. Mm -hmm. And with these multiplayer games and party games, you know, they can play up to eight people. So we always advise people, you know, just bring your controller so you can always join. We'll okay. provide some, but you know, the more people bring, then the more people can play. So okay. that's what you see right now. You see five and a bit playing on this one game. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right, that's so, so everybody's getting involved and having fun. Right, yeah. right, right. Thanks. Hey, so, by the way, I'm glad. Who just that? Uh, Beast Boy. Who? Beast Boy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. I just want to figure like I'm glad. I was thinking for some reason I'm thinking about. 
Passing LG is sponsored by The Graphic Shop, an online design and print store. If you need graphic design and don't want to break the bank, why don't you book them at the convenience of your home or office? You can reach them at The Graphic Shock 242 on all their social platforms. The Graphic Shock 242. Peace. Come back, man. Oh, the red love? Huh? The red love, yeah, yeah, Angela. <laughs> She's the red love. Behind there, oh. too. Yeah, but I'm Teen Titans. Ah, right, 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 right. Yeah, okay, so now I see it said you pointed out. Right, right, send me yeah. transformation. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. So, y'all was always in this location? No. Actually, our first time here, mm. uh, we, our most, pro most prominent place that we've been so far would have been the Dunda Center. The Dunda Center? Yes. Then we've been at a location like, oh man, something hall in Stapledon. <laughs> Uh, hold yeah. on, you're talking to the wrong person. I, yeah, I, I no. can't tell you what Nassau. Well, there's a hall there. And then, we, uh, then we first started, uh -huh. uh, we were at the incandescent palm there. But as we grew over time, we had mm -hmm. to seek larger venues, which is how the Dundas and us form a partnership. But we still have the work to that, like I said, because of all the COVID, before uh -huh. we could return home. You know. Okay. Yeah. So you all been doing this for like, how, how, how long? Uh, about at least for three, going on a three-year anniversary. Three years? Well, we were inside for one year. Uh -huh. So I, I guess this would have been our three year anniversary. Okay, okay. Yeah. Three years now, actually, right? Because we were locked inside for one year. So this would have been our third year. Yeah. So I guess technically two years if you want to wipe away 2020. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this was your. your choose the one who. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Me, me and Geek over here. You were the one who came up with this. Yeah, oh. so I was in the backyard mm -hmm. and I noticed that like there was nobody really doing anything when it comes to anime and mm -hmm. you know, gathering as a group, like as a big group. Mm -hmm. And so I tried to start hosting movie nights where we would host anime and also cult classics. Okay. So we would watch a pop orange and pulp fiction as well as Akira and Studio Ghibli movies and oh. other stuff like Madoka Magica, things hmm. like people that people haven't really heard of because right. a lot of people be like, can he be so cool? Right. You know? So a lot of mainstream stuff. Mm -hmm. And so one day I met Adam in the mall. Adam actually knew Edward and we all came together and decided to move it into an air conditioned space. Mm -hmm. And that was Incudas. And then push came to shove, we had to leave Incudas for certain reasons and then we had to we got to move to the Dundas and we were welcomed with opening arms with the Dundas. We were there for almost a year. Very receptive people, very nice. I miss them a lot <laughs> actually. But unfortunately we got too big. So then we had to leave there and find a space that was more accommodating to the numbers we were now attracting and then COVID happened. Right. And so this is us trying to come back small right. first and then see if we can find a bigger space. But right. I'd be texting the Prime Minister, hey big head, and he don't ask me. Oh um, I thought I was pretty good, I apparently uh, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. Good luck with that. So, was it difficult for you to find people to come to, to this event? No, actually, it wasn't. Because I'm an otaku myself, I know what otaku is like. And so I've been able to, like, you know, think like an otaku because I am an otaku. And so it's been easy to attract them because, you know, we're kind of starved for stuff that's in our interest. Right. And in our, and I, I lost the word, sorry. No problem. <laughs> Me and you be doing that same time. <laughs> but yes. Definitely mm -hmm. star for things that are different from the mainstream. Like, you know, I love me some soca and I love me some dance hall and everything like that. Right. But every once in a while, I want to listen to some dubstep and some yes. rock and some yes. anime openings yes. and endings yes. and Korean and pop and all that stuff, K pop right. and all that stuff. So right. it's. It's pretty it's pretty nice to get all the support from the community. Right. The community just reaches out, is there anything I can do? I want y'all to be successful. Right. Because you know it's very every everything that has come along has kind of fizzled out. You know? There was the Bahamas cards. Oh, what was it? I can't even remember.
remember it was so long ago when I was a child that it fizzled out and certain different communities kind of just fizzled out and I just hope that that's not the plan for the geek out, you know. Right. We do plan on hosting an international convention right. and uh, we're just really prepping to push ourselves internationally, get behaving cosplayers to an international level and everything like that. And, give them incentives and find more sponsors so that it's actually worthwhile and in people's interests, you know? Um, through TikTok, do you think that helps a lot as well? Yeah, I say they through TikTok, do you think that helps a lot when it comes to outreach? For me, I have been slunking on TikTok. I have a couple TikTok videos I've worked on, but I don't like them because I'm shy. I don't look shy, but right, I am right. shy. Yeah, right. And I just, it, it's weird to just put myself out there because I never put myself on the face of the king. I'm always like the one who coordinates everything. And, and my name's on the business license, you know? Right. Like, that's the thing that I do. But TikTok, I've been working on it. I think it's the way forward. We actually went viral on TikTok the other day. Right. Um, I think we went viral twice. So, you know, it... We're changing yeah. perspectives and stuff like that. I think it's a big road to reach because it's showing everyone that, you know, exactly. people in the anime weaves and not, they don't have one look. Yes. You know, and I think that's amazing. And I think that's one of the one looks that, you know. Because I'll never look at you and say, we were even to anime. A lot of people don't. You're yeah, right. A lot of people don't. And that's just showing and you. They don't know that I run the biggest cosplay community. Right. <laughs> in so y'all. You all had one earlier, right? Sorry? You all had a competition earlier, right? Yes, we had a cosplay competition between 4 and 5 p.m. SJ Slay's cosplay host for us. She's the founder of 242 Cosplayer Nation. Mm. And SJ Slay's cosplay. I cosplay myself, but because I do a lot of the organizing, I don't get to cosplay like I'd like. Mm. But she's the one who really focuses on the cosplay. Okay, all right. All right, thank you, Ashley. I really appreciate it. My name is Priest, by the way. Priest? Yes. Nice to meet you, Priest. Right. Hope to see more of you at future events. Yes, actually, I have a little card right here. Thank Sorry, you. oh, jeez. Let me see if I can. Let me get you one that's not bad. I can't give the, the owner the thing. <laughs> and he been up card. Thank you so much. Right. All right. So you can look out for us on Wednesday. You can hear the podcast fully. Okay. Right. Edit me to sound smart. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah, so that was an interview with Adam and Ashley. <laughs> Hope you all busted through it with the audio. Support, as you know, share it, like it, follow us on TikTok, Nerding Priest, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm trying to see how best I could. Uh, if you Facebook is a dying app, but hey, that's my personal opinion. But yes, yeah, so please, and Twitter. Any Twitter fans out there, let me know if I need to get on Twitter properly, because right now my brain can barely focus on anything. But please. The more you support, guys, the more I feel your love. Only my podcast called Passing Energy. So I want to feel energy of, you know, positivity. Like, man, you got this. I see the potential. You know, you know, I need that support. I got to start somewhere, you know. I got to start somewhere. So hopefully in the future, I'll have equipment that's ready for outside use interviews. Like I said, leave a review. Please subscribe to the podcast. And, yes, rate it. Priest out.